Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. We are in my bedroom and I've decided to make a big change. Um, I don't like my nightstand. <laughs> and you know, you guys watch me purchase those nightstands and uh, I was like, ah, oh, this is great. And no, it's not. It's not. I'm going to tell you why. One, I have too much stuff in it. Two, you know, the nightstand is not working when you can't even open the bottom drawer. <laughs> I can't open it. There's too much crap in it. So I've decided that I'm going to do something completely different. Um, and it might be on the minimalist side, um, which is totally not me. Uh, but I, I have to do something different. So my biggest issue is that at night when I go to bed, a lot of stuff needs to be on top of the nightstands. I have to have my tea, I have to have the book I'm currently reading, I have to have my two phones, the work phone and the uh, uh, personal phone, and if I'm on call, a third phone. <laughs> uh, various potions, you know, like the food cream and the regular body cream and my meds and water and... Uh, um, then I have to remove my jewelry and uh, uh, I may have some hair clips and plus the lamp, uh, various tchotchkes and stuff. So the, the top of the nightstand itself, there's just too much. So what happens is that I'm a hidey hoardy. So um, whatever I don't use at the moment ends up in this drawer right here. And we can find, let's just do a random sample. Okay, random sample. Uh, pair of scissors, catalog, empty cuff drops, pens. More pens, a non-charged uh, fake eye watch, uh, no spray, various essential oil. We all need a rubber band in uh <laughs> This is cat here and there. The cat goes in there, which is a problem too. We all need a random rubber band in uh, a drawer, right? Ton of stuff. Oh, this is here. I was looking for that. Yes. Yes. So, and then the bottom part, I have no idea what's in it because I haven't been able to open it in about, um, I don't know, five months. The cat used to be able to go in there. She would, it was the weirdest thing. She would go inside the top of the drawer and then manage her way underneath it, um, inside the other drawer, and which was pretty cool the first time she did it until stuff got stuck. So this is not working for me. I have too much stuff. I need to desperately reduce the amount of stuff I have on there. But I also figured that if I don't have a drawer, a container or something to hide the stuff, then I'm going to be more prone to living it as minimal as possible. <laughs> Do you smell the lie? <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Listen, there's a vision, okay? There's a vision that it's going to be neat and clean and, and sparse with barely anything on it. Okay, that's the vision. The Instagram stuff. The reality is that it's going to look good today and by next week it's going to be, there's probably going to be clothes on it. You know, like my bra is going to be hanging on to it. Um, you know, whatever. So what am I doing instead of this? All right. So if you followed me for a while, you know, I sell stuff on uh, Facebook marketplace and I sell stuff on Etsy. Furniture usually goes on the marketplace. And if you don't know, because you're new to my channel, every Tuesday night, well, not in the winter because it's snow, but every Tuesday night, I go out and I pick up trash and I resell it. And it's a passive income, sort of. But there's this one item that is super expensive. Like, I checked it out online and it was about $800 that I found on the street and I tried to sell it for 100 Nobody wanted it. It's brand new. I tried to sell it for 50 bucks. Nobody wants it. And I don't get it because it is such a trendy item. If you remember, it's the stainless steel cart on wheels with the glass shelves. I'm going to use that because obviously nobody's going to buy it. It's been on the Facebook marketplace for two years. It's time to make good use of it because I don't want to put it back on the sidewalk. I just want to keep it. I, I guess it was meant for me to have it. So I don't know. It's a larger surface on top. It only has a shelf at the bottom. It's all open. Uh, so let's see what I can do with it. But before I start, we got to empty this baby right here. Ah, 
Uh, so I hope you grabbed a cup of tea or coffee and uh, you're ready for some uh, extended time with me because we're going to go through the whole thing. Um, and I have to decide what is worth for me to keep versus, and when I mean keep, I don't mean necessarily trashing the rest, um, but what do I really want on this table? So the, my current tea, we're going to keep because <laughs> I'm still drinking that. Okay. Um, this is my, um, water thing. I have to clean it, but I am obviously keeping that. Okay. Meds, I'm going to keep. I had a little bit of a, uh, crisis uh, a couple of weeks ago. My, uh, thyroid just literally took a dive and I'm talking like a serious dive. I had to switch meds and now I'm on 45 milligrams of, uh, um, armor thyroid, um, whatever you call it. So feeling better but we'll see all right this is random stuff these are all my uh, uh hair clips and stuff which tells me by the way uh, let me clip my hair because i blow dry my hair this morning and um to be honest i i think i'm gonna cut my hair again i, I don't know what to do with my hair okay so this is much better all right so i got jewelry and stuff like that okay creams i have the uh, good old nivea um <laughs> Uh, this one is the one that's made in Germany, not the one that's made in uh, Mexico. It's a little bit thicker and it smells stronger. And this is a uh, body, Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Cracked Heel Treatment. So I put that on my feet. And these are um, pillow mist, pillow and body mist. One is cedarwood and vanilla and the other one is lavender and vanilla. And I do spray the pillows at night with that. I've had them not for a long time, obviously. Um, two weeks ago, maybe. Okay, devotionals. I, I have to figure out which one I'm going to keep because I don't read them every night. And I also don't read more than one um, every night. Okay, and then this obviously has got to go. It's got to get to the wash. Look at the dirt. <sighs> and <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the lamp is probably going to go, by the way. All right, let's dive in the drawer. So I'm hoping I'm going to help you make decisions too, right? In terms of what you want to keep. Okay. Uh, I definitely want to keep this thing here. I had purchased it for the purpose of having something to allow me to have two phones connected um, and other items. So obviously I got to set that up today. Uh, Tylenol. Let's look at the expiration date. 2024, still good. Uh, earplugs. Look at all this packaging. That's crazy. Okay, keep uh, an empty earplugs. My pump for asthma, which has got to be sold. God, it's expired since 2015. All right, I'll go get another one. Who doesn't need one of these, right? Um, Uh, these are still good. This is empty. I'm going to use this basket for meds. Benadryl, yes. Aleve, yes. Yes. This is a nose spray. Coffee, caffeine, firming cream. I'm supposed to use that on my neck. Can't you tell how chiseled I am? This thing is almost uh, done. It's actually a very good cream. Uh, I just bought... All right, let's keep it. Nah. It's old. It's old. I've had it for, I don't know, a year or something like that. It's got to be super old. So I did gather all the meds. All right. Then we have Bath & Body Works stuff. Cherry Crisp. Love this. That doesn't have to stay here, though. A hand cream. That I have to keep. This one here, I have to um, charge it. Okay, pens. Why is there pens? Well, because... Um, I read and I like to highlight stuff. So we're going to keep that. A spoon. <laughs> Essential oils, eucalyptus, bergamot, uh, lavender. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in my new um, essential oil diffuser. And we're going to put it on that cart. And uh, probably we'll run just lavender. Because that's the really only one that you can have with cats and dogs. Um, okay, random stuff. That can go. All right, can I open the bottom now? Still not. We gotta figure out what's going on with that. Oh, 
Here we go. It must have been something that was in the back. Okay. All right. This doesn't belong here. That's a Waterford uh, wine thing. That doesn't belong here. Okay, what do we have here? A watermelon mask sheet. Okay. Uh, Mother's Day card. I don't need to uh, keep the card, even though I like it. But there is a gift card uh, for my hair salon. So we're going to get our hair done. Uh, a exercise uh, thing that I very clearly do not use. Books. Okay. Uh, let's go through all the books because they don't need to all be here. Which one is that? Le savoir vivre, les usages du monde. Ooh. Uh, this is an etiquette book from France that my sister gave me. Um, so we know where that's supposed to go. In the etiquette book collection. Okay, why we buy. I did read that and I don't know why it's here. Why is it here? I don't know. I read that. Okay, Thousand White Women. That was really good. This is one of those books that started really, really good. And then towards the end, it kind of like, I don't know, I lost interest, I guess. I did finish it. It was good, but it doesn't need to stay here. Uh, Jesus Calling, that was sent to me. Um, that's a devotional that can go downstairs. <laughs> you figure, ladies. Uh, this is great. Uh, this is a... Uh, um, 1950s um, floor exercise and aerobics type thing. Is it from 1950s? Style and beauty techniques. It, it really doesn't. You, you, you know, if you watch my channel, you, you know, obviously I haven't read it. Okay, that's my baby shirt. Why is it here? I don't know. Um, oh my goodness. Here. Fall 1996. Don't mind the nails. Okay, this is uh, uh, my college card. Look at me. I look like... Um, uh, what's his name? Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I'll put a picture right here. Look, I look like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, soaps. That was a gift uh, from the kids. I can go to the bathroom. Why is it here? I don't know. This is a uh, battery charger for phones. Oh, good. Oh, wait, that's a micro one. That's not what I'm using right now, so probably don't need to keep that. Um, <laughs> my camera cover, yep. And then some of those plugs. Okay, this is empty. Pictures. I don't display pictures, you know that, right? Um, I'm going to remove this, and then very obviously, this there's going to be a lot that doesn't need to be here that's going to be removed. Uh, that cart needs to be cleaned uh, because it was in the garage for a while. And put the cart here. Let go of the lamp. I have a lamp. You may have spotted it in the living room. It's one of those uh, new LED super flat lamp that's directional. And you can do different levels of lighting and different tint of lighting. So you can do harsh white or... Um, like bright white. Or you can do warm white with it. It's pretty cool. It was inexpensive. I'm going to put it here because that's really good for me to read at night. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the goal today is, again, to chunk it down to bare minimum to just what I need. But I want room for my my tea, my three phones, my uh, the books I'm reading, creams and stuff. At the bottom will be kind of like storage, things I don't use on a regular basis. Um, but the the goal really is to determine what it is that I absolutely must have and let go of everything else and make it super efficient. Because what I had right now was not efficient at all. Um, and um, figure out what I'm going to do with all those cables. Okay. Oh, and I do want to bring that diffuser on there. So let me switch. And when I come back, we'll start styling the cart.
I think this cart um, is perfect for what I need. And um, I'm glad I'm keeping it because it's a beautiful cart. Does it look like it belongs here? No, but there's bigger plans for this room, okay? Uh, I don't know when, but there's bigger plans for this room. Um, and it involves a lot of wood, but I'm not talking about it yet. Uh, it's probably gonna be end of spring, midsummer project. I don't know, we'll see. Cause lumber, I don't know if you've seen, uh, but lumber prices, went so it's gonna cut it's almost like three times more right now for lumber so i gotta wait to see what's going on with lumber because it's gonna need require a lot of wood anyway um so the cart looks really really cool it is a little high but that's okay i'm concerned about the corner here and whether or not i'm gonna uh, bang myself in it but i don't think i will because once i know it's there i'll be fine but here's the lamp um i was telling you about and you may have spotted it in my living room um, it's one of those LED thing. It's super, super flat and flexible. So you turn it on and you get different mode. Um, uh, this is the, um, warm white. And then you can do warm white mixed with bright white. Okay. Or you can do even brighter, dim it, right? And then you can also switch it to bright white if you want so there's different uh mode depending on um here we go i prefer the warm white the one thing i like about this lamp is that you can put it really close to you as you're reading or you can orient it um let's go back to yellow you can orient it to the ceiling so you can still read but it's not a harsh light and you know if you want to kind of like relax at night you can have this atmosphere type lamp um and then you can fold it like this you can you can do all sorts of things with it i really really like it um i'll put the link down below if you guys are interested um here we go we're gonna keep it in bright because it looks much better so what do i want on here on top should be the essential okay um so we're gonna start with uh phone cords <laughs> thanks how many phone cords and how do i set them up and you know, I just realized this stuff doesn't even need to be on top. It doesn't. I can leave it at the bottom. It's going to clear this whole surface here. My work phone on it. Perfect. All right. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put this. Some people put them in boxes. Um, you know, they hide them in boxes. I may end up doing that. But in the meantime, this is charging. I'm going to leave that alone until I figure out a way of concealing all this stuff. Next is uh, nighttime essentials, um, body lotion, stuff like that, that I want to keep um, here. And I'm going to keep it in this basket. I'm trying to recycle and upcycle all of my containers. Uh, so I'm just going to put my stuff in here. So I have one body lotion, two, because I like to switch depending on the mood, um, different lotions. This is very good, by the way, the Magnolia, Magnolia Charm by um, Bath & Body Works. Okay, my Nivea. And then the foot cream and hand cream. And then the pillow mist. Um, I'm going to keep one on top and one at the bottom. I'm going to keep the uh, this one here because that's also a body mist. I keep that here. There we go. This one I'll keep on top. So the next item I want on my nightstand is my oil diffuser. And this one is from a company named Asakuki. And I will link it down below. So it's very similar to the majority of the ones that you're gonna see on the market. But what I like about it is that it's got a remote, which is really cool. And when you turn it on, you can have a uh, Two different sets of lighting, and I know that you can't really see it right now because it's daytime. But you can also light up the top part here. I don't know if you saw that. And then you can change uh, the color of the light. So you can have purple and a dark purple. You can have green. You can have red and a dark red. Uh, and here's purple again. So I'm going to keep it to um, purple because and blue. 
by the way. Nice, so you can change that. And then you can do intermittent. So if you don't want it to run all the time, it will go, you know, once in a while. Or you can do continuous, which is the one that I like. Okay, and you can do one hour, three hour, or six hours. And that can be controlled on the remote as well. So I'm gonna do uh, six hours. And then you can control the flow. You can have a big flow or small flow. Uh, so this is the large one. And all you have to do is pick your favorite essential oil and um, diffuse it. Oh, I can smell it already. It's wonderful. So I am keeping this and I can keep my lavender all the way in the back here. Put that to the side. Okay. So again, this one is from uh, Asa Cookie. I'll put the link down below if you want it. And um, I gotta tell you, it's it's a very natural look. It's uh, a bamboo look. I believe they have it in different um, colors. They have different style. You don't have to have the light on top. You can also have it run with no light whatsoever. It To me, it looks like it would fit in any kind of um, environment, whether you have contemporary or a very classic conservative setting. Um, it is a little big, but it fits on any shelf or mantel in your kitchen. Uh, you can have it with just the mist if you don't want to put essential oil, so it will act as a small humidifier as well for your bedside table. And this is one of those things that everybody is getting into now. Everybody has essential oil. They are very, very good for you. And I'm planning on making my own, by the way, <laughs> when I, I get all my medicinal plants. This smells so good. It's wonderful. It's very calming. Um, I like the design. I've had so many of those. I have one in the basement that doesn't have this little lattice pattern on it. It just has the ring of light. Um, and I have a smaller one that's a uh, kind of like a portable one. I think this one looks really cool in here. It's relatively quiet. You don't really hear it. Um, I, I think it's just beautiful and again essential oils can be very beneficial especially when you're trying to go to bed at night and relax there's so many different oils that you can use if you don't have pets um, look into that because there's a lot of essential oils you can diffuse to induce sleep if you do have pets please uh, check which essential oil is not good for animals um, I'm pretty sure that the lavender one is fine this is a very nice diffuser i think it's beautiful it's uh, uh the lines are very feminine i love the lattice work i love that it works as a night light as well it will shut off automatically once it's running out of water in it and it does run the whole tank will run for more than six hours so you don't have to constantly refilling it. Um, but the good news for you guys is that if you like it, you can enter a giveaway. So comment down below. Let me know if you have a diffuser at home and what oils you like to diffuse uh, and for what purpose. And if you want to win this particular diffuser, comment again down below. And then in a week, uh, let's say we'll do um, May 3rd for my anniversary. For my anniversary, I'll pick a winner and the company will send you one. Um, I think it's really, really cool. So I want to thank Asakuki for giving me the inspiration of redoing my nightstand so that I can have this little thing on it. So without further ado, we're going to continue to set this up. I really don't need a lot at this point. Um, I really don't. Uh, okay, so I have to be honest, this was not easy at all. <laughs> this was not easy because uh, I, I really am struggling as to what it is that is the essential that I want to keep here and everything else had to go. Uh, so I'm really down to barely anything at all. Um, on top, I have the um, Isakuki diffuser that I just talked about 
And I just put it on intermittent, by the way. That's why you see it go on and off. I have my little soap dish that I've dragged for years now, uh, where I just dump my jewelry in the evening. And actually, that has to be put back where it belongs. I have three books that actually are two books I haven't read yet. I have my devotional. So out of all of the devotionals that I have, I picked The Confident Woman by Joss Myek. So I really do like it. That's an easy one. And then it's a little bit more relevant. Um, I, don't, I don't know, to me at least. Uh, so I like that. And then I have two books, a nonfiction and a fiction that I plan on reading. For nonfiction, I have The Pierce Winter. Uh, which is this book right here, and that is by Imogene Robertson. It's during um, Victorian times in Paris, a lady who uh, falls into poverty and then becomes a live-in um, nanny. If you like The Edge of Innocence or uh, The House of Mirth, you may like that. Um, I haven't read it yet, obviously. And then the other one is a non-fiction, and this is The Parasitic Mind by Gad Sad, How Infectious Ideas Are Killing Common Sense. So I like sociology stuff um, that is current and um, thought-provoking, and he's very, very good. I read um, another book by him. So these are the books I'm going to read. I'm not necessarily recommending them because I haven't read them yet. Um, but, you know, if you are looking for book ideas, there you have it. I have my water here with my, um, you know, glass. Um, this, again, I've been dragging this for years. I've had it for a long time. And then the changes that I've made um, while I was off camera, instead of having an open basket, I went in the office and I had... Um, a box that used to contain photos and I was able to move the photos to a different box and I'm keeping this one for the purpose of stashing all of my potions and stuff and the reason why I'm doing this is because one it won't be covered in dust six months from now and it just looks better and it allows me to hide the wires a little bit and then I have the wire here for my second phone so the phones are gonna be here obviously I may end up putting my regular phone on top. It doesn't matter. And then in this little glass crystal container here, I'm keeping my meds, um, again, that I have to take every morning. And then um, it's just two different level of thyroid meds. That's what it is. That's all I'm taking. And then the remote for the thing stays here. And at the bottom here, I have a basket that used to be um, in the living room. And in it, I have all the current issues of magazines. And the reason why I'm putting those here is because very often when I get magazines, I get a chance to look at them and browse really quick. And it's not that I forget about them, but I like to, sometimes you go to bed and you don't feel like reading. You just want to browse something. That's perfect for that. So what do we have? We have Living and Southern Living, Garden Gate, another Southern Living, another Living. I'm behind, right? This one is from the UK. It's called Landscape. It's beautiful. Wonderful magazine. Uh, yeah, I had to. Um, a special edition on Napoleon. It was pretty interesting. This one, if you can find it at your local store, this was the double issue for Mother Earth News, uh, spring 2021. It is excellent. Excellent. Anything you need to know about gardening and vegetable gardening is in there. It is a fantastic magazine. And then the other one is another garden gate. And then in there, <laughs> I got uh, a new batch of old 1950s magazines. Actually, this one's from 66. Hold on. Let's find a 1950s one. Ah, uh, yes, 1958. <laughs> Saturday evening post. Uh, I found those at the uh, thrift store for a buck each. They are phenomenal. Uh, first of all, they have... Uh, look at this TV. Any of you had a TV like this? Comment down below, let me know, because this is... I love this stuff. I, I love it. And Scott and I get a kick out of the advertisement. There's always some interesting stories, takes on the political climate at the time, uh, um, you know, and of course the stories have changed since. It's just, it's fascinating stuff. Anyway, if you're a history buff and you like Americana, I recommend those. So these stay at the bottom. They're not covered. They're probably going to have dust at some point, but at least I have enough um, to browse. And this is all I need. 
this is all I need. This is the basics. And my tea will go here at night or my coffee in the morning. I don't feel cluttered. I, I feel like this is perfect for me, for now. <laughs> I'm probably going to change. Uh, but the amount of stuff I remove is just unbelievable. I mean, I had a basket full of meds. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. I'm going to keep this one here because that I am uh, browsing continuously. Not to mention all the, the other stuff. So the one thing I don't have is pens. Uh, they're going to go in Scott's uh, drawer because he's uh, practically empty. Uh, unlike me, he's very sparse <laughs> in a lot of ways. So if I need a pen, I'll ask him to give me a pen. Okay, but this is it. So tell me down below, what do you think? Is this a better setup? Is this going to work? I hope it works. I really wanted to pare down. I wanted something that was wider, that had more room, so I wasn't constantly bumping things. This is just essentially what I need and nothing more. So hopefully this will work. The medication is going to go up. Oh, that I need to keep. That's a uh, lip balm. The medication is going to go in the uh, uh, cabinet in the bathroom. And what I'm going to do now is uh, change the sheets and um, the pillowcases, rotate the mattress, clean up this whole room. So when I come back, I'll give you a final look and you will determine whether or not you like it. And that will be it for today. So I'll be right back. And I'm done. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. We'll see if it works. Uh, Scott thinks it's pretty okay. He's not a big fan of the uh, big cord, but that's all right. Um, I needed more space and I needed to feel like I had a little bit more breathing room in there. So I changed uh, the sheets. I rotated the mattress. Remember those foam mattresses? You got to rotate them every three months. Bonnie, I have your quilt. Look at this thing. It's all stitching, uh, cross stitching. Is it beautiful? And I remove all of the covers from the pillows. Actually, I toss them because they were um, ripped and whatnot. I have to get new ones. Probably going to get them in a single color, no design. And change all the pillowcases, put some spray on the pillows. And that will be it. So this area here, I do like. Um, I do like very, very much. It is spacious. It is... Uh, Oh, it's a breath of fresh air. That's what I'm going to say. Now, I still have a lot of cables. I don't know what to do with them. Um, but I'll have to figure out how to call cable. There's special tubes that you can use. Um, or maybe put a, um, a piece of something behind it and have all the cables hidden behind it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, maybe a piece of art, a frame, something. But I do like it because when I get up, um, I, I don't have stuff all over the place. It's easy to clean and dust. Um, I have all my essential and the lamp is much better. So anyway, for me, it's a win. So you comment down below. You let me know what you think of this. Um, do you think it's going to work out? Do you like the look? Uh, you know, I mean, I know it's a mishmash of uh, all sorts of furniture in my bedroom. You all know the story. Um, nothing is going to happen in here unless we address the floor and the green carpet, which doesn't seem that it's ever going to happen. So I don't see the point of getting, you know, um, new everything um, until this is taken care of. And then I still have some ideas of building things uh, in here that's going to happen sometimes during the summer. So, you know, for now, I'm dealing with this. I like it. Once the whole room is redone, it will have a completely different look because it will match everything else. So comment down below. Let me know if you like it. And don't forget to comment down below if you want to win your own diffuser by Asu Cookie. Um, this is really, really cool. I like it. It's uh, um, It fits the decor. It's uh, The oils are wonderful. And I love the fact that it's got different lights. And I like the fact that it has a remote control. If only I could grab it right here so that I don't have to reach for it. I can just turn it off um, very easily. And again, it's on the timer. So you can have one hour, two hour, um, six hours, I believe. Um, intermittent or full blast and then small blast, large. It's very, very versatile. You can do all sorts of things with it. Um, 
there's a lot to say about essential oils. A lot of people are using them. And if you pay attention on Instagram and Facebook right now, there's a big barrage of different companies that do essential oils. Uh, so obviously there's, I'm not going to say a push, but there's a definite interest towards essential oils uh, in today's world, which is a good thing because they are natural. And um, if you like plants, and you believe in the power of plants, you have to believe in the power of essential oils. I think that they are a wonderful way to relax and they have other properties. Some of them are there to um, make you more alert, to waken you up, to soothe anxiety. Uh, some of them are appetite suppressants, apparently. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of different ways you can use essential oil. This is just for the purpose of putting a little bit of scent in the room when we go to bed so that I can relax and have a good night of sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below for the giveaway or to let me know how you like this setup. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.